it's Mulberry Cheesecake and I'm trying to play I'm gonna try out Yum Yum Dating Show This is my very first dating show visual novel I don't know what it's about but anything related to dating and things like that I'm probably gonna screw up Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Yum Yum Dating Show. Hello, and welcome to the Yum Yum Dating Show, where the boys are yum yum. Oh, they're not paying me enough for this. The game where the cliché stereotype of your desires can be yours. Yes, that's right. Absolutely yours. Provided he'll have you. But that's on the fine print. The first cliché stereotype we have with us today is the shy guy. Come on out, shy guy. Hello, Mr. Shy Guy. Say hello to our audience, shy guy. Sup? No, you're not supposed to say sup. You're the shy guy. The shy guy always has to stutter through sentences. And look at the ground. Looking at the ground is very important. Um, uh, 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 hello? You're not blushing enough, shy guy. I can't exactly blush on c c c c c c command. Well, work on it. The things I have to deal with on this show. So. Let's get some background information on Mr. Shy. Tell us about yourself. Er, uh, I'm... Sh sh shy? I mean, he does look kind of shy to me. Because... I don't know? I don't like... The, 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 the people? Nah, wrong. That's Mr. Asshole, and we haven't introduced him yet. <laughs> Strange names to have. So, I like people, but I don't want to look s s s s stupid. Pretty much. You haven't learned to speak up for yourself. You probably had a bunch of brothers and sisters. They started talking right over you, so you started letting everyone do it. Or maybe you don't have any brothers or sisters, and you're just lonely. Now suddenly this is becoming very, 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 very piercing, emotionally piercing. Either way, you're a wuss. It sucks to be me, me, indeed. Now, I'll introduce our next stereotype for the ladies to Ugo. He is the guy every girl wants to bring home to their mama. Or not. It's the bad boy. Uh, okay. Sup? <laughs> you said the same thing. You totally stole my line. Yeah, but he can pull it off. Yeah, he can, sure. What's shaking, bad boy? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Just hanging? <laughs> Isn't that meant to be, like, the chill? <laughs> Evasive. I like it. Next up. He's mysterious. He's brooding. We can't quite figure him out. He's Mr. Mysterious. <laughs> Why does he look like, like, a, like, like one of, what does he look like an idol or something? <laughs> Looks like a, one of those. I don't know, TV show idols. Mr. Mysterious doesn't need to talk. He has an air of mysteriousness wafting after him wherever he goes. Do you smell that mystery? Hmm, it smells dangerous. Or like someone died. I haven't decided yet. Mr. Mystery will do that to you. Makes girls weak at the knees and quite possibly weak to their stomachs. 
Mr. Mystery, just go and look cool over there for a second. Try to make up a backstory more fascinating than your dad being an accountant and taking family trips to the beach. Because we totally know you're more interesting than that. Moving on, we have the sexy nerd type. Oh wow, isn't he just Mr. Shy Guy with glasses? He's related to the Shy Guy. But he has glasses. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I'm that. I feel like he's the same person. Maybe they ran out of actors or something. Isn't that just the Shy Guy with glasses? Totally. Of course not. We wouldn't be so cheap to do something like that. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Crickets. So, Mr. Glasses Guy, our sexy nerd, tell us about yourself. I'm really sh sh shy. Wrong auto cue, idiot. Look over there and stop stuttering. Oh, I guess I know stuff. I guess. Indeed you do. And you're also high strung, but deep down you have a sensitive side. I guess? Could you stop saying that? <laughs> okay, next up, Mr. Snub. The Sundiddy type. Hey, he looks pretty nice. This guy is a douche that shows up in different forms in pretty much every Otome game. But even though he's a total ass, he has a super sweet side, which we all know he has a, he has deep down. Everybody say, aww. 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 Secretly, Mr. Attitude has a collection of teddy bears and likes looking at rainbows and sunsets. No, I don't. Yes, you do. If you don't, you're nothing but a one-dimensional- <gasps> And the girls wouldn't, won't spoon. <gasps> and if the girls don't spoon, I don't get paid. Is that why he looks so stressed? And I care why? Because deep down you're a sweetheart. Get with the picture. No, I'm not romantic at all. Uh, if you met the right girl, you might be. Don't think so. Well, I guess he is Mr. Attitude. Trust me, I know better than you. I'm the host. We're almost through our list. Next we have the Heartbreaker, or better known as Mr. Stud. Not to be confused at all with Mr. Snub, the lovable asshole. Hey babe, you read me so well. Wanna blow this joint? Get in the cab? No, 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 no. What? You were meant to be hitting on the girls. The girls. Oh. Hitting on the girls. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. You got exposed there. Haven't you ever played an Otome game? A what now? Oh, okay. Deep down, you're very traditional and only want one girl to love forever, okay? You're paying by the hour, buddy, so whatever freaking crap you want, you got it. Nobody said the heartbreaker can be a gigolo, okay? He's still the heartbreaker type. <gasps> Just with <laughs> Hey, I'm clean, man. Check me out. <sighs> Whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say. And lastly, we have that fat loser gamer type. <laughs> He's kind of cute. I would date him. Said no dating show host ever. Get back in your cage, fatty. Aww. Now we've got all the guys. Oh wait, we're still missing something. One of you guys has to be filthy rich and possibly a prince. Because there's something every girl wants. Any takers? I will. Not you, Gigolo. I could be a prince? Perfect, and that's why you're a total ass. Because I have everything I could ever want. Because people are using you for your wealth and status, and no one is genuine with you. Oh, oh. Uh, this house is really savage. You don't have true love. This is all about finding true love. 
I don't want to find true love though. I just want to be a <gasps> in peace. You don't get to decide. The player does. Yeah, exactly. I have the most control in this. And we can all be thankful for that. Could we? Alright, a deposit for a hundred thousand dollars and a fake crown will be yours. But only if the player chooses you. Because if she doesn't choose you, you don't deserve to be a prince. You fake sooner your bigger pistol. <laughs> so I can just bribe her to pick me? Technically, yes, but according to a rule I just made up. No. Uh, hang on, why are there. <laughs> why are they pixelated? This is actually kind of creepy. Alright, how cliche line up will go behind this amazing pixelating screen. So it's not totally obvious, who, obvious who's who. Um, I feel like it's a little bit obvious. It's pretty obvious. Can we get a dumber girl in here, please? <laughs> Burn in hell. Bah! Ahem. Next. Like, I have no idea who any of these guys are. Like, like, that's crazy. Which one is the cute one? Yeah, she'll do just fine. Oh, this girl is actually pretty cute. I would actually, <laughs> I'd rather take this girl. <laughs> Question. What? Why didn't we just hit the previous girl over the head so she would get amnesia? Oh, good idea. Oh, I just skipped a little bit. You can't go past a good amnesia plot in the autumn reverse. Ouch! Are you forgetting stuff yet? No! Stop that! So, bachelors, are you ready? No. I guess. Hey, hot stuff. Alright, clueless girl, ask your questions to the boys. And be very careful because some of them might not be completely in character. I'll take the brooding guy. You can't just pick who you want. Duh, this is a dating game. Of course I can. If we made it that easy, then no one would play it. Now he is how you play it. Each round you ask one question, the guy's answer, and you have to choose the wrong answer. The worst answer, sorry. The guy who gives the worst answer is kicked out of the game. I can ask any question I want? Yes, any question at all. For most approved list of questions. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so they prepare their stuff. So after every question, you eliminate one of the six bachelors. You keep going until you have two guys remaining. When it comes to that, you can either choose one to go on a date with, or have fight to the death over you, or have them fight to the death over you. Whichever one does not die, gruesome death, wins the girl. Oh, so we're either going the democratic way or the really scary way. It gets to have the romance of a geeky teenager. Bing, 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 bing. Hold on a sec, it's my lawyers. Um, uh huh. Yeah. Hmm? Apparently, fighting to the death is illegal and completely unrelated to a dating game, a dating game show. These guys are a total buzzkill. Oh well, since no one will be dying, let's get started so we can get it over with quickly as possible. If I can't get my full of volunteer, I'll have to spend the rest of the night playing drunken sailors with docks. Anyway, it's question time. What sort of day would you take me on? What would you buy me on your diamond wedding anniversary? Isn't the diamond wedding anniversary the 40 years? Or was it like a 30? I think it was 30. Or 40 years, yeah. 40 years of my marriage. Um, maybe what sort of day you would take me on? So. Say you had to take me on a date, what sort of day would it be? Oh, please don't make it dirty. I wouldn't take you on a date. Oh. 
Why not? It, it's not like I like you or anything. Blush. Aww. Well, we'd, got on, we'd, we'd go on a, on a romantic picnic and I'd wine and dine you until sunset. My date would start at sunset, if you know what I mean. No. Seeing as we're all over 30 here, I think we do. Wait, are we all over 30 years old? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'd run from the law, baby. I, I guess I would take you somewhere private to read. Um, like the library? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's just like the shy guy, except smart. Dito. Dito? You can't just say Dito. Just did. I hate you, man. So, girl we just replaced by the other girl seconds ago. What's your verdict? <laughs> just replaced a girl. Running, is he cray cray? I don't really like dates where I have to run. I have heels, you know. I think he was speaking figuratively. He was what now? So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to Bachelor One. Goodbye, bad boy. After all the money I spent getting a taxi here. Ugh. Well, Girl Friday, we get to ask another question. I'm not a girl Friday. It's Saturday. I'm like a girl Saturday or something. Unless it's really Friday. Don't confuse me. Oh, I just picked one by accident. Uh, what was that one? Mm, go back. Oh, what's your biggest charm? Huh? What's your biggest fear? What would you do if you could do anything? What is your biggest fear? What's your biggest fear? Not hugging up with you, baby. Fear? Uh, I don't really like the public speaking. Not being seen as elusive and mysterious. I fear having to be around someone as idiotic as you for more than two seconds. <gasps> My biggest fear is waking up and realizing my sexiness was all a dream. I'm also scared that one day I'll be old and ugly and maybe not so intelligent anymore. I will have to hug my noble prizes and worship my pin-up posters of myself when that day comes. So, who do you want to eliminate from the game now? Uh, are you a man who cares about his personal appearance? Gross. You just read a mystery. I don't smell your mysterious aura anymore. The mystery guy was pretty cruel. So, you want to get rid of the mystery man who lost his mysterious aura? Yes, he's so transparent now. I bet he was born on a Tuesday. How did she know that? Okay. Sadly, women are amazingly good at reading body language. Goodbye, ex-mystery man. Okay, we're on to the third round and the bachelors are dropping like flies. There's still some good ones in there, though. So, it's your choice again what you want to ask. Uh, wait, hang on. What sort of thing do you see in your future? What's your romantic fantasy? Would you grow a mustache if I asked you to? Would you grow a mustache if I asked you to? There's one question that's really been bothering me. It's a pretty serious one. So which of you would grow a mustache if I asked you to? I'll grow a mustache only if and when I want to. <laughs> uh, that was not my question. <laughs> like I specifically said that it was my question. I don't need someone like you telling me what to do. Already done, baby. 
Oh my gosh, that is a huge mustache. Sexy nerd. Wow, eager. I like it. Yeah, he's definitely getting through to the next round. So weak. I'm too young to grow a mustache. Um, that's disturbing. Doesn't bother me. <gasps> yeah, we are over 30 years old, right? <laughs> hey, baby. How about a girl with special mustache just for you? Except it won't be on my face. Why did I... Why do I have to overread that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Why did I have to overread that? Only one more round after this. Make sure... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Make sure to eliminate the ones you can't stand. I don't know. Nobody wants to be left with the leftovers, even on a dating show. Hmm. The underage kid. So, you want to get rid of the guy who can't grow a mustache? Yep, I need a guy who can grow a mustache. To totally. I actually agree with her on that. What's so important about a mustache? <gasps> it's everything. Having a mustache is literally a symbol of your manly just strength. Oh, <sighs> if you were a girl, you know. I think she's just got weird fantasies. <laughs> I think we avoided a legal lawsuit by getting rid of him. So thanks. All right, here he comes. We're down to the last three guys. This will be the final question, so choose wisely. I'm sure you'll have a dream guy in your arms within seconds. Okay, what is your ideal girl? Is there something you've always wanted for Christmas but never got? What can you not tolerate in a partner? I'm curious about the Christmas thing. Christmas gift. Just a database of girls' phone numbers I can call and seduce. Can we go back? <laughs> Any Christmas present amuses me. Being able to calculate the hot button use of it. The circumference. Such fun. As if your Christmas holidays weren't boring enough. Gifts. Unless it's, so it's from someone really cute. Blushes. Aww. Can we actually go back and see what the other choices were? Um. What is your ideal girl? What is your ideal girl? What's an ideal girl? Can I have 20 of them? The heartbreaker. Any scientist mathematician who won a Nobel Prize? The 1800s had the best girls, didn't they? Hubba hubba. I don't believe ideal girls exist. That's just a stupid fantasy. But, but if they did, I guess I'd want a girl who'd help me... Would help build a home and dreams together? Blushes. Wait. Oh no. I wanted to... I wanted to go back. Don't stop. I'm not from the 19th century. I want to build someone up. Oh no, this is so tough. I'm not from the 19th century. So, you have to get rid of the boys that girl from the 1800s are the sexiest. Yes, that's totally ageist. Totally. Actually, I agree with that. Sorry, yeah, but 200 year olds got a hold of my heart. That's weird. It's strangely sexy. If only you had such interesting outlook on dating. But for now, we'll have to get rid of you, you sexy, sexy nerd. Rawr. Um, host, are you? Okay. Well, you've heard from the guys. Now let's see who has to say goodbyes. It'll rhyme for you. Ah, ha ha ha. Alright, it's all down to the final two boys. Who would you like to choose to go on a date with? Just a reminder, here's a quick recap of the boys. Will it be bachelor number three? Who would love you? All the girls in your family? And all the girls in your neighborhood equally? Will it be bachelor number five? Just like an ice cube waiting to melt into a soft, melty chocolate thing. <laughs> a soft, melty chocolate thing. I don't think 
that's a very good explanation of my personality. But shut up, Mr. Attitude. Honestly. Remember, you're choosing who you want to live with for the rest of your life. The choice is yours. Hmm. The guy with Mr. Attitude. Let's choose Mr. Attitude. <laughs> the music is so dramatic. Bachelor 5, Dr. Sundidi. Who is not actually a doctor, but sometimes he shows up as a doctor. Oh, that is so true. <laughs> you know the game, Mr. Love? It kind of reminds me of the, the, yeah, the doctor. What is his name? I forgot his name, but the doctor from Mr. Love. It, and then, um, he looks really similar. And he is, oh, he's, he is kind of like this cold, mysterious person. <laughs> because having a job helping people shows he actually has a sweet side without having to go too crazy with it. Totally. And also, um, Cinderella phenomenon. What's his name? Rumpel. What I was doing. Prepare to get a constant cold shoulder from him until he secretly does awkward sweet things to you to show that he cares. And won't own up to doing awkwardly sweet things. Because that totally ruined his rep of being a complete uh. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations on your choice. Here's your man of the evening. Boyfriend. I guess I'm your boyfriend now? Oh, he's ugly. Oh. <laughs> I chose the wrong one. No. <laughs> Suddenly, a new girl becomes smart. Yes, and now you're gonna have a crappy life forever. And because you didn't swoon on the camera, I'm not gonna get a paycheck. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is terrible. Wait a second. I'm not gonna get a paycheck. Oh no, he has to be. He has to be a sailor now. There's no way I'm gonna let that happen. Director. Use the magic of television. Through the magic of television, everyone is able to reshoot all the scene again until the player makes the right choice. Alright everyone, pretend this is the first time you've seen any of this, and laugh when I tell you to. Okay, we gotta start over again. Uh, what would you buy me on your diamond wedding? Anniversary. So, what would you buy me on my diamond wedding anniversary? Oh no, this is gonna be... I don't even want to look at the answers. My eyes are like not even looking down because I don't know how I'm gonna respond to this. Well, we'd be old. So I'd buy you incontinence pad or something. Oh gosh, or maybe a walking stick? I get you diamonds. It is a diamond wedding anniversary. Oh, the shy guy knows. The shy guy is something. I get diamonds too. Oh, phew. Okay, I was expecting some really crazy answers. You can drive the getaway car. Ha ha ha. You think I'm the type of guy to get married? Cute. It would be a surprise. A mysterious surprise. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Because who said I would marry someone like you? Mr. Attitude's changed. Ugh, rude. I want him out of here. So to make things clear, you want to eliminate bachelor number five? The rude one. Get rid of the rude one. Adios, number five. Goodbye, Mr. Jogos. Well, Girl Friday, you get to ask another question. I'm not a Girl Friday. It's Saturday. I'm like a Girl Saturday or something. Unless it's really Friday. Don't confuse me. This was even funnier the second time, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Totally. Uh, what would you do if you could do anything? What would you do if you could do anything? You, baby. Haha, ha, I choose this one. Oh, new girl. You have some strange tastes. 
You still can't choose them like that. You have to play by the rules. Oh, okay. Everyone else can answer now, I guess. I would slit everyone's throat right now and jump off the roof of the studio on a motorbike while shooting two rocket launchers and eating the heart of a bear. Very savage. Wait, what did they, what did, what did she say? Okay. If I could do anything, I'd already have done it. Mystery. If I wasn't so nervous, I wouldn't have crashed that plane when I was 21. So many people died. So sad. Oh, uh, I think this is a bit too much information. Wait, what? <laughs> I would shoot bad guys with my awesome laser robot eyes. Cute. No comment. Alright, it's time for the second man to leave. Who do you want to get rid of now? The one... I choose the one who likes me. Just to confirm, you want to get rid of the man who said if he could do anything in the world, he'd want you? Wait, no, I meant I wanted to keep him. Sorry, the rules are rules. He's out of the competition now. <laughs> Whoops. Goodbye, Mr. Heartbreaker. Looks like you would have been perfect together. Sorry about that. Okay, we're on to the third round and the bachelors are dropping like flies. There's still some good ones in there, though. So, here's your choice again, what you want to ask. Oh wait, we go back. What sort of thing do you see in your future? What sort of thing do you see in your future? I honestly don't want to know now. Death and destruction caused by me. Flexes muscles. Only mass can accurately predict the future. And mass says, one zero one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero one zero one. Shocking! I know. Okay, the future or the past, which really exists, which really affects the other. What is time? What is life? Who knows anything in this world? He <laughs> depicts the mystery man so, so accurately. <laughs> okay. I try not to think of the future. It depresses me. At least that was a normal answer. Only one round left after this, so make sure it counts. Who do you want to get rid of next? The Harbinger of Destruction. So, the boy who said death and destruction was in his future. Yes, get rid of him. I don't want that kind of future. And if I did want that kind of future, I'd want to be caught in the death and destruction. Sounds fair to me. See ya, baby boy. <clears throat> Alright, here it comes. We're down to the last three guys. This will be the final question. So choose wisely. I'm sure you'll have your dream guy in your arms within seconds. Oh, uh, it's, it's exact same line. Wait, this is the same question. What can you not tolerate in a partner? Wait, can we- what if I choose this? Hey, this is different, hey? Uh, is there something you can always want of a Christmas and never got? When I get a Christmas present, I need a smile or a frown. The whole family sighs. What's he thinking? How does he feel? Who is he? And why is he in our house? <laughs> I feel like that should be the first question. I hate Christmas. I hate meeting relatives. Just wish I could hide in the store for two weeks. That's how I feel, honestly. Don't we all? Any Christmas present amuses me. Being able to calculate the hot bottom news of it, the circumference, such fun. Okay, this is the same. Okay, maybe we can go back. Plus, what can you not tolerate in a partner? If they speak like... That's a real turn off. You mean people who speak with an accent? No, I mean any woman who speaks. I cannot tolerate speaking or conversation in my relationships. 
That's, that's actually reasonable for a shy guy. In fact, I can't tolerate relationships, to be honest. I can't tolerate riddles without, within an enigma. I need to be the one enigma in my relationship. Swish's hair mysteriously. Girls can't do calculus. Oh, that's me. I struggled with calculus badly. Like, the world doesn't need you. Go burn. Okay, get rid of the credit who said people who can't do calculus need burn. Some of us don't need to- wait, sorry, I think that was the girl. Oh no, that was the host, yeah. Some of us didn't go to a good school, alright? Make him pay. Okay. Wait, wait, you shouldn't let other people make choices for you. Go die, Credin. Well, actually, you are legally required to make your own mind up. I like talking. I'm a good minister. I like talking? I like talking. So, you want to get rid of a guy who hates our conversations? And relationships? Yes! What would the world be like if we couldn't talk about shoes, shopping, or makeup? There are things you can talk about, you know? Really? Like what? No need to answer that, I've heard enough. I like to leave too, but my wife's just as bad as this girl. Uh, there's a lot to say. It's goodbye to our shy guy. Well, you've heard from the guys. Now let's see who has to say goodbyes. Better run for you again. Alright, it's all down to the final two boys. Who would you like to choose to go on a date with? Just a reminder, here's a quick recap of the boys. Will it be Bachelor number 4, who we still know literally nothing about? Or will it be Bachelor number 6, who enjoys masks, Monet, and wearing mascara? <laughs> Remember, you're choosing who you want to live with for the rest of your life. Then just get out of here. The choice is yours. <laughs> There's actually a show, a dating show, that says that. The choice is yours. Um, let's choose... <laughs> For now, let's choose a sexy nerd. Bachelor 6 is a total dorky nerd. But don't worry, he's sexy, which makes it okay. He can also fix computers and do your homework. If you're into that sort of thing. On the downside, he'll annoy the hell out of you during normal conversation. Blah blah science, blah blah blockchain. <laughs> Luckily, he's able to get a good, respectable job that pays well. In fact, he also get he also can he can also get a less respectable job that also pays well. The less we say about that, the better. Anyway, congratulations on your choice. Here's the man of the evening. I guess I'm your boyfriend now. No, he's ugly. I chose the wrong one. No. Oh, beep it. She still made the wrong choice. Alright guys, let's just reshoot the show as many times as needed. 27 hours later. Hello? It's not working. Okay. Alright. Welcome to the final round where you can finally choose the man of your dreams. Your choices for tonight are... Will it be bachelor number two? Who l l l l loves isolation? Or will it be bachelor number three who enjoys maths, Monet, and wearing mascara? Oh, shy guy. Congratulations, you can now live happily ever after. Yay! And the other boy will remain loveless for the rest of his life. Oh, doesn't bother me. Wait a second. Oh no! They were both the same person! One of them was just wearing glasses. <laughs> As, wow, I only just knew that now. What does this mean? Well, we can't give you two boys. That would blur mine. We'll have to get rid of both of them. No! Sadly, we're all out of boys. Oh, unless you want the gamer nerd in the cage. Ew, no way. I take the gamer nerd. Actually, I'm desperate, so I'll take him. <laughs> Thank you so much! Oh my goodness, I've never felt so much love in my life. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, now that I'm free of the cage, I, I think I'm transforming. Please let it be good. Yes, I can feel it. I'm reaching my true form. What? Uh, this is my true form. <laughs> okay, Johnny Depp. <laughs> wow, thanks. Wait, what? Turns out I'm the god of love. Isn't the god of love uh, a woman? Her name was like... A I forgot her name, but it was, it was a woman. Punished this world until I understood my own power. Only the true love provided by this guy, of oh, this girl, allowed me to access my natural abilities as a god of love. This is so accurate. And now I will forever thank the girl who rescued me from the cage in this TV studio. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> I like how the guy, the hose, has like, like a really calm expression. Hello, everlasting bliss. What's going on? Hello? Um, well, that's another happy couple who found true love on Yum Yum Dating Show. Join us next week and we'll see how much fun they have on their date. But for now, let's finish our show as we always do with a song. Self-lighting enabled. Now, love can happen to anyone. Now playing Aura by Elka Knight. Self-voicing enabled. Love can happen to Anytime, anywhere, love can bloom. All you have to do is be open to it. Uh... Horses, horses, everywhere. I'm no circle, I'm a square. My favorite fruit is lime or pear. Don't I have the... <laughs> what was that? What does this sound more like? It... Sudden twist to horror. Sexy like a nerd. Smartest in the herd. Most girls like a king. I make people cry when I sing. Yo, little girl, who's bad? I'm bad. I'm better than a robot train a destroy the planet. Better than a cutie boy from Aliang Qianling Yi Boy Band. <laughs> Why did it suddenly use Chinese from 2001? <laughs> Better than a motorcycle with a big bad biker on it. I'm so bad you ain't gonna see me. Kapow. Kapow. <laughs> this song is getting a little out of hand. It is. Oh, it's fine. Let's keep going. If you say so. Time for the side guy. Uh. I, 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 don't like S, 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 singing. It's not like I'm singing this song for you. Idiot. Oh, but how mysterious am I? I'm so mysterious. I love the sound of that word. Arius. Mysterious. Mist. Arius. Magic. Wait, hang on. Which is this the same guy? Back, back. Okay. It's not like I'm singing this song for you, idiot. Oh, but how mysterious am I? Okay. That's all we have time for tonight. Thanks so much for playing until you reached the true ending. I know it was hard. Or it war to our lovely self Viking rabbit. Round of applause. You are too kind. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> That's quite enough of that. I don't think so. All right, I'm turning the rabbit off now. Goodbye. The rabbit. Are you later? Um. Suddenly in Chinese, the two? Two years later? Wait, I think I chose the wrong boy. Uh, two years later. Here we go again. The end. Don't we, D?
equals D. Okay, so that's the Yum Yum Dating Show. Um, it's not really, uh, I guess it's not really like horror or detective, which I usually do, but I guess it would be, it is unexpected. Like the storyline, everything, it's captivating and it's like you're part of a dating show but all the tropes inside are pretty, um, it's humorous and it's captivating and um, you, you feel really engaged when you play with it and yeah, I really enjoyed that. Like I felt like it wasn't overly lovey-dovey, it was more... Um, more of the humor and yeah it was really good and yeah th that's it for, for that's it for today and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye